Good day, everyone, and welcome to this Investor Intel interview. My name is Mario Drolet. Today, we have the pleasure to have with us Mr. Tom Meredith, who is the Executive Chairman of West Red Lake Gold. Bonjour, Tom, and welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much, Mario. As they say in the mining space, uh, the best place to find a new mine uh, is to look around past producing an old mine. So uh, uh, I saw that you have uh, acquired some land position around three uh, uh, ex-producing mine in the West, in the Red Lake uh, camp. Uh, can you briefly comment on the, especially on the row one mine, is, uh, is past is historic production on it and for our viewers? Yes, uh, we have, uh, our property is uh, about, uh, I think, 31 hectares, 3,100 hectares in size. Mm -hmm. It has about 12 kilometers of strike length on a major geological trend. Uh, it's located about uh, 10 kilometers, their property is located about 10 kilometers west of the famous Red Lake Mines, which were brought owned by Gold Corp and are now owned by Evolution Mining. And on that property, we have three former producing mines, one of which, the one in right in the center of the property is the Rowan, the historic Rowan mine, uh, which currently has a resource of about 1.1 million ounces of 7.5 grams per ton between surface and about 500 meters deep and over a length of about 1.2 kilometers. So we have exploration potential to make that bigger by going deeper below 500 meters deep. Okay, and when what was the historic production? I think that, that that project was primarily just an initial development project for the Gold Corp Dickinson mines that used to be called in the old days. Uh, so they didn't do a lot of production. It was just some test mining originally. Uh, what they found was Uh, the mines they were mining in Red Lake um, had probably a bit higher grade at the time than yeah. what Rowan had. So it made sense for them to mine right at home in their right in their front yard yeah. rather than go several kilometers. It's about, as I mentioned, is about 10, 15 kilometers away from their Red Lake operations. But to put it in a truck, you have to go around the top of the lake and back down again. So it's about a 60 kilometer drive. Was it an open pit situation or underground? No, underground, underground. Yeah. yeah, just like Red Lake, the Red Lake mine is underground and the, the adjacent mine to it, the Campbell mine is also underground. So uh, most of the mining in Red Lake is underground mining. Okay, uh, uh, what's the depth, the depth of the- Well, at, uh, at the Red Lake mine, they're mining uh, down to 2000 meters deep, yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, whereas at the Rowan, we've only uh, got a resource and exploration down to 500 meters deep to get a little over a million ounces. Wow. So we think if we go to the typical mining depth that uh, many mines in Canada go to, which is about 2,000 meters, we see potential for a much bigger resource than the 1 million ounces that we already have. Yeah. And then we have a, a, an adjacent deposit on the property called the NT zone. Uh, which looks like it has a, a pretty good size resource potential as well. So there's lots of opportunity to make the resource in our project quite a bit bigger than it currently is. Okay. I saw uh, in your last press release that uh, you have complete 16 uh, drill hole. Uh, probably they, they, they probably end up in the mineralization. And can you give us your latest development on, on this? Well, the 16 drill holes are right at the very top of the Rowan deposit. Okay. Um, so the uh, most of the drilling had been, you know, uh, sort of 50 meters from surface and down to 500 meters. Really, most of, most of the drilling was between 50, 50 meters and say 250 or 300 meters deep. But we thought uh, it would be a good idea to develop a, a, an open pitable scenario to start the mine because that makes it very easy to get ore or mineralized material into a mill because at the end of the day, mining companies buy these properties and that's how we make money for our shareholders is to sell the property, 
the whole company to another mining company. And so we want to make it attractive for that mining company to buy us. And, and when they see ore that's very easy to get, uh, this is attractive for them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tom, I saw on your website that uh, your last 43 101 on their own project was uh, in 2016. Am I correct? And are you going to update it this year? Our last was in 2016. We spent the previous couple of years actually working at the um, the NT zone, which is a new a new part of the property. And uh, so we're working on a, a preliminary resource there. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more drilling first. So we think next year we 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 may have an update of the resource, which would uh, add additional ounces from the NT zone. It wouldn't make the Rhone any bigger because we haven't done anything to make the Rhone bigger. The work we're doing now is actually making the surface area more attractive for mining. Yeah. Uh, because our, as I mentioned earlier, our ultimate customer is our other mining companies who need material for their mills. Okay, very good. My last question, uh, Tom, to you. Uh, I saw that Equinox, Equinox Gold, uh, they own uh, 34% project have they invest in the company uh evolution mining actually yes sir. Uh, yes uh evolution mining they own about uh 34 right now and they are new because they bought the gold corp assets from newmont uh, one year ago and so they have for the last year been focused on the, the red lake mine operations where they have three mines and two mills in operation, and they recently bought Battle North, which is right next door, which means now they'll have four mines and three mills in operation soon. Um, so they've been focused on that, and just recently they came out to the project to have a look and uh, see if they want to start to uh, contribute more financing. Gold Corp was always contributing financing. Yep. Then when Evolution Mining acquired the projects, they stopped. But now they come back out to see if they're going to start again after after having spent their first year in Red Lake, getting the mine operations uh, into bigger and better shape than they were before. Okay, very good. Uh, last question: When do you expect your uh, uh, drill result to come out? Because we always we all know that with the COVID, the, the situation, the labs are are full and kind of uh, uh, stuck, you know, like so. But do you have any, any guess or? I um, would like to suggest to all our viewers to definitely take a look at the West Red Lake Gold symbol. Uh, Richard, Larry, George, RLG on the CSC. Once again, Tom, thank you very much for your time today. And uh, we'll be uh, speaking in a few months. after. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Mario. Very nice to talk thank with you. you.